Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to discuss a very important chapter of anatomy and physiology, which is cell. Now the question is, what is cell? You are already familiar. You have already studied in your schooling, ninth class, tenth class, eleventh, twelfth in biology section, zoology. What is cell? You have studied about plant cell and animal cell. So our today's topic is cell. What is cell? Cell is basic, fundamental, and structural unit of life, and the study of cell is cytology. As the name indicates, cyto means cell, and logos means study. So the cytology is study of cells, and the study of tissue is histology. Tissue is a collection of cells which which perform the same function. There are three things which is uh, very common in almost all type of cells. The cell membrane, cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid inside the cell, and genetic material, which is in human cell DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. There are two broad categories of cell: eukaryotic cells. They are more advanced, and they found in plant and animals. And prokaryotic cells. It has no nucleus, and it is found in Uh, bacteria and green algae it has no nucleus nuclear is absent in prokaryotic cells and it is older cells now what are the organelles organelles means little organs they are a specialized part of the cell and that are very unique in the function and job they perform a specific function inside the cell and uh, nucleus is the center part of the cell it calls the controller part and it is the brain of the cell whatever processes goes inside the cell it controls and so it's called the brain of the cell and uh, there are different components which is present in the cell we will see in the upcoming slides so we start with the introduction part all living things are made up of cells and cells are the basic structure and functional unit of all living things The cell was first discovered and named by the Robert Hooke in 1665. He saw a dead cell wall of plant cork cell under the microscope. Cell are very uh, tiny, very small in size. We cannot see with the naked eyes, so we use a microscope for clear vision. Now the definition of cell: a cell is the smallest unit that is capable of performing the life functions. and as we have seen the type of cells prokaryotics and eukaryotics prokaryotic cells definition is a cell that does not have the true nucleus and membrane bound organelles it's called prokaryotic cells example bacteria and blue green algae and eukaryotic cell definition a cell that have true nucleus and membrane bound organelles and all plant cells are like this and animal cells now what are the cellular requirement what function do all cell need to perform control cell need a way to control and direct their own processes and functions cell need a way to obtain and digest nutrition through membrane transport method cell need a way to get rid of waste cell need a way to obtain and use energy cell need a way to transport substances cells need to make more of themselves by the division cell divides and make more cells it causes the growth of organism human beings come under the multicellular organism there are two types of organism unicellular and multicellular human beings come under multicellular organism now what is the basic difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells there are two main different types of cell prokaryotic cells any organism made up of prokaryotic cells are called prokaryotes and the eukaryotic cells uh, any organisms made up of eukaryotic cells are called eukaryotes human beings and animals come under eukaryotes so this is broad category of uh, cell eukaryotes and prokaryotes now what is the basic difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes prokaryotic cells uh, in size less than 1 micrometer and eukaryotic uh, size varies 10 to 100 micrometer 
and prokaryotes it does not have any true nucleus any nuclear nucleoid region and uh, in eukaryotics it has a specific membrane bound organelles and nucleus has no membrane bound organelles has membrane bound organelles only one circular piece of dna with no protein many linear pieces of dna with proteins small ribosomes large ribosomes all prokaryotes are unicellular organisms like bacteria and green algae eukaryotes are either unicellular or multicellular uh, asexual only through binary fission and sexual and asexual through mitosis and meiosis cell division process now here in this uh, image you can see the different organelles and the parts of components of the cell uh, we start here with nucleus and nucleus is the center part of the cell it is called the brain and it is covered by the nuclear membrane and uh, it contains the nucleoplasm chromosomes nucleolus chromatin and nuclear pores pores are responsible for transportation uh, of uh, protein molecules inside the nucleus and golgi apparatus vesicles cell membrane lysosomes uh, cytoplasm and it's a jelly like structure flute and uh, this is centriole mitochondria it's called power house of the cell it generate energy and it is stores in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate cytoskeleton and ribosomes ribosomes is called a factory of protein inside the cell it produces protein uh, endoplasmic reticulum it has two types a smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum the rough endoplasmic reticulum is uh, responsible for synthesis of proteins and the uh, steroidal hormone is produced by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and uh, a smooth endoplasmic reticulum you can see here so these are the different components of the cell uh, now three important cell region nucleus uh, cell membrane and cytoplasm it is common in almost all type of cells cell membrane description is this is the outermost boundary of the cell it separate the cell in environment from outside to inside and nucleus the it controls the center part of the cell it contains the genetic material dna deoxyribonucleic acid and which direct the functioning of the cell and cytoplasm it is the part between the cell membrane and cell nucleus it contains the liquid like cytosol within the cytosol the organelles which are special structures that carry out different cell functions now three important cell regions uh, the intracellular and the extracellular intracellular is which refers to the area inside the cell and extracellular is represent the area of outside the cell so here you can see the list of different components of the cell outside of the cell the cell membrane uh, and inside the cell nucleus nuclear membrane chromosome nucleus cytoplasm endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes mitochondria golgi apparatus lysosomes and vesicles and chloroplast chloroplast is found in the plant cell it is not the part of animal cell animal cell does not have chloroplast so this is the different part of cell so we have completed this lecture thanks for listening in case of doubt you can ask thanks